In northern Ethiopia's Tigray region, valleys have seen significant change. This valley was transformed from a once barren landscape into fertile land. The integrated program focuses on a range of interventions that include watershed rehabilitation, agroforestry, financial services and market linkages. Prior to the program, the sudden downpours that characterise the short seasonal rains in this area used to wash away the soil and turn farmland into deep gullies. Today, the terraces, soakage pits and contour ditches allow water to be soaked into the ground instead of running off. As a result, yields have doubled and the irrigated area in this valley has increased significantly from 10 to 30 hectares. In the past, this region was best known for its catastrophic famines. What we see here in this valley is a wonderful example of um, integrated approach to resilience and livelihoods. Uh, FMNR is one component, but on, on its own, we would not have been as successful as, as we are now um, by combining with a number of different interventions. Farmers who had once fled the region in search of work have now diversified their income streams. Gebre Gebriot and his wife Gilgis experienced famine in their childhood when living in the area. Today they grow vegetables and crops and raise sheep. In this valley in the Tsidemba district, the results are impressive. The further one moves down into the valley, the greener it becomes. It is the driest month of the year and it has not rained for eight months, yet there is abundant water supply. Springs have returned and irrigation water is available. The communities sold 813 tonnes of hay last year during the drought. Previously, just two farmers harvested one poor crop per year. Today, 132 farmers grow three crops per year using gravity irrigation on 18.5 hectares in the dry season and on 38 hectares in the rainy season. There is a potential to irrigate the entire 38 hectares. These fields are worked by Desde Gebre with his sons. He had previously gone overseas for work due to severe degradation of the land, but he returned to the valley once it became livable again. Today, 